Hi everyone, today with us for a new video, I'm going to show you what I bought uh, from Lego sets in 2022. Uh, right now, um, what I'm going to show you are most of them Star Wars sets. You know that I had to sold some sets of my collection that were not uh, Star Wars and I kept my favorite ones technically of my collection. But yeah, let's get started with what I have right now and after I will uh, tell you what I plan uh, to buy uh, during the year. So first set uh, that I choose to show you is the uh, Vespa from the Creator uh, Wave uh, that was released I think in March, April uh, at the same moment as the Vespa, the big one, the blue one uh, that LEGO released uh, the last year. So this one uh, actually was is still costing I think 10 euros. So it's really cheap. Uh, I think it's something like this. I'm not sure, but yeah, it was was really cheap, and it's really really nice. Uh, I really like it. Oh, it fell right now. Uh, I really like it because uh, it's uh, a nice display piece if you can't afford the blue one that is also pretty big, and it's really well uh, detailed. Uh, as you can see, the shape, the appearance of it, the little sticker here uh, for the Vespa. Uh, really, everything looks well. Uh, also, a sticker here at the back, and uh, you can display it. Like this, there's no problem. Normally, it's not supposed to fall, so this is also a good thing. So, yeah, for 10 euros, this is a really a nice little set. Next on the list, we have the Obi Wan Jedi Starfighter. So, this one it's a really a good surprise, in my opinion, for the price that I paid. I had it on Amazon uh, just some days after the release at 25 euros, 23, I think, uh, which is a, an excellent price. Uh, it was really nice to construct it, really. the I'm going to remove the minifigures really quick. Uh, the apparent, the style, the profile of it is really nice. I really like how Lego uh, decided to design it. As you can see, the uh, wings, uh, you can remove them if you want. But yeah, they are like this. They can't, they are not, you can't move them to have more angle. But it looks great like this. Of course, there's some person who are complaining about the gap here. But I think it looks, it looks nice. Uh, a little cockpit, some stickers that are a little bit damaging because I didn't put them well. But yeah, the Starfighter itself is really nice. The minifigs, of course, Obi-Wan in a new uh, outfit from the episode 2 the Attack of the Clones, really nice with uh, this hood. Uh, this droid, I don't have the name, I had the previous version and this version was updated uh, apparently, so this is also nice. And of course, the minifigure of Tanui, uh, which was the uh, star of this set, and certainly that's why a lot of people bought it. Uh, but yeah, a really nice uh, little set for uh, just, uh, I think, 35 or 30 dollars. Now we pass to the uh, very controversial Tank of the Republic. So this set uh, is clearly not made for the build because the tank uh, doesn't look bad. I mean, I really like it. You can even uh, play with it because there's wheels under. It has some functionalities. You can open here behind uh, to pull a clone that is going out of it. I don't know. Uh, there's some cannons. The point that the cannons are really falling, as you can see. Here, this one is not staying as it should be, uh, so this is a little issue uh, that there is on this tank. But we know why uh, people bought this one because for the minifig, we have the 187 uh, Legion of Mace Window with his uh, purple clones. Uh, that is really really nice. The details are amazing. We have an airborne uh, clone trooper with the same colors here, and of course, the minifig of Mace Window with arm printing. Uh, this is really a nice attention and this beautiful purple lightsaber. I really, really uh, like it, to be honest with you. Uh, it's really incredible. Uh, but yeah, this was in France uh, at the moment that I bought it uh, out of stock during some months uh, and I had to buy it in August and I found it in a Lego store uh, randomly. It really was unexpected and I had to buy it. And now I noticed that here in Mexico is available everywhere. So maybe I shouldn't have rushed about it. But yeah, uh, it was out of stock a long time because no one wanted this set for the tank, but everyone wanted it for the minifigures. Uh, I think that it, uh, it's at a price of 40 euros, which is correct, I would say, because we get a lot of minifigs, plus also some uh, banner droids are not showing uh, right now. Now we pass to the series Obi-Wan, and first uh, I had to buy uh, this uh, briquette, because I'm not the biggest fan of briquettes, to be honest with you, but they do look really nice, uh, especially the Darth Vader one. Uh, I really like how they, how they are, and I think that they were a bit I feel exclusive because they just cost. They were just costing 20 euros, 
Uh, I think the both. Uh, Obi Wan and Darth Vader. And uh, I literally paid like five euros because I had some VIP uh, coupons, so I didn't pay nothing for it. I think just the delivery. I'm not even sure. But yeah, I, I, I didn't pay almost nothing for it. And I think that it's totally worth it because they look really nice. The build is always, as every case, is uh, full of colors inside and the tiles and everything uh, looks nice. And the Darth Vader one has like red eyes, as you can see here. Some nice printing, uh, printed tiles, sorry, uh, here. Also, this one uh, here in front, and yeah, it do looks really good. I think that this is a must-have for 20 euros, and it will certainly uh, go up in value when uh, these uh, briquettes are gonna retire. Now you have uh, certainly in front of us the most controversial set of 2022 because uh, we have the duel between Darth Vader and Obi Wan. You can play, try to play uh, them with one hand. This is a bit difficult, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to pass my second hand here, and you see, you can try to play. The duel reproduces this epic uh, duel of the series uh, of the episode. I don't know much uh, in the Obi Wan series, but yeah, uh, this is a controversial set for how it looks like. Of course, we have a big red plate. Uh, I was uh, critiqued about it. I was not convinced about it, to be honest with you. And when I constructed it, when I had it in my hands, I was like, it could be worse. Uh, the build is not bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not the most uh, interesting one for sure. Uh, it's a bit fragile for some places. I remember that the build was not so easy in some places. It was really fragile. But yeah, at the end, it doesn't look that bad. And it makes it like a nice display piece. If I can say like this, yes, it looks like a bit nothing. Uh, white gray, what is this pile of gray bricks? If you don't have the context, you don't understand. But at the same time, it looks nice. I mean, uh, like a mini diorama, technically. Uh, and yeah, we get some nice minifigure. And Darth Vader with, a, with a, an exclusive face for the series. So this was uh, really nice, as you can see here. Uh, so this was nice. Uh, also a new Obi-Wan, of course, from the series. Uh, that is not the best minifigure in my opinion. We have Tala from here with an uh, exclusive torso, uh, which is nice. We would like to have Imperial Officer torsos. And we have, of course, the droid Ned B, uh, which is uh, the star uh, of uh, this uh, set, this minifigure, because it has a lot of printed uh, piece, a new mold, of course, and a printed uh, curved tile here. Uh, so yeah, this is really good. Uh, actually, no stickers also in this set, which is not a bad thing. Huh? We, we can't complain about this, but yeah, this costs 50 euros. I know uh, it's not the best value of the year. There is some best value, but don't sleep on this set because I'm sure that it will go up in value when it will retire. A lot of people will want it. And right now, I see it on sale even here in Mexico, like at uh, 800, 900 pesos, which is like 40, 45 euros. Uh, yeah, take it if you can at a good price, maybe not 50 euros. Me, I like to take it at 50 euros. I, Maybe was not really happy to take it at this price, but yeah, this is a nice display set. Uh, you can play with it. The, the features are not bad. I know that you can open here for the fire to go outside and everything, but yeah, this is not bad. Uh, it could be better, yes, but there's actually some good things about it, and uh, I like to have it on display. We have now the uh, Lars uh, Homestead Family Kitchen, as it was... Uh, designed and titled by Lego. Uh, this is a promotional set that you only could get during the 4th the the of May, May the 4th, uh, of course, and it was coming for an order of more than 150 euros, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes, yeah, so I got it with the u and Speeder that I'm gonna show you just right after. But this is a nice, also, display piece. I, I really like it, I mean, it's cool. It's not impressive, the technical build are really repetitive, especially here when you put all these uh, pieces uh, here, the, for the kitchen, the construction is really repetitive, uh, a lot of white bricks, but yeah, it does look nice at the end, and you have an exclusive minifigure of Aunt Beru. Uh, I think that the face or, uh, is not exclusive, I'm not sure, something is not exclusive on this minifigure, but I think that the jacket, of course, the torso it is. Uh, and yeah, she goes for maybe like 15, 20 dollars on the second market, so we know perfectly that this set is gonna value a lot. Uh, in the years to come. Right now, I think that you can find it around 30, 35 euros dollars, which is already a lot of money for this because it's a little bit, it's really little. Uh, it's not really the most interesting one, but it, it looks great. And this uh, mini lens feeder here is uh, also a nice attention. So this was really a nice uh, gift we've purchased to get. And I look forward to the uh, 4th of May 2022 to see what Lego uh, could prepare for us. Now it's time for the UCS uh, Lens Speeder and what I can say about this set, it's a great UCS in my opinion. 
kind of underrated, I would say, because you get a really nice uh, lens beater, really good in appearance, some nice colors, a beautiful uh, windscreen made specially for this set. Uh, in terms of minifix, we get a basic look Skywalker, which is kind of disappointing, but we have a nice uh, C3P over here that I'm going to show you just right now, with uh, dual molded leg, uh, legs, sorry, printing on the side of the legs, so this is nice, arm printing also, so this is uh, pretty incredible, the effort made by Lego on this minifigure is really nice, and this is the uh, best C3PO that we could have uh, got in this UCS lens speeder, of course the display plaque as always, and yeah, this lens speeder is really nice, I'm going to move you the camera to show you exactly uh, how it looks like more near, and as you can see, here are some stickers, so this one I applied it bad since the beginning, so I have a kind of bubble here. But yeah, it looks great, uh, I just didn't clean, sorry for the dust that is apparent right now on the video, as you can see here, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, the inside is detailed well with the seats, uh, the uh, steering wheel also, and it's not a steering wheel technically, but yeah, uh, you understand me. And uh, the reactors, motors are really nicely detailed, as the UCS should be. Uh, and yes, some stickers here also, so not too much stickers, but yeah, the, the construction also, it was a fun build, uh, I really liked it, it was a lot of uh, plates, a lot of uh, bricks, classic bricks, and it changed from the Technic uh, pieces that we get often in UCS sets, so yeah, this was really a nice UCS, now I think that the price passed from 200 euros to 250 euros, or 40, I'm not sure, which is uh, unfortunate, because at 200 euros, it's a great value, now at 240, I'm not so sure, but it's still a great set and I think that you should get it before it gets retired even if there's still time uh, because it could go up in price and it's, I feel for now, uh, really underrated. Uh, last uh, little set uh, that I wanted to show you, it's the Armor Bro from the Mario minifigure series number, I don't know, 4 or 5, I'm not sure. But yeah, this was released uh, in August 2022. Uh, to be honest, it's the first and only Mario minifig, if you can call it like this, that, that I have in my collection. Be because I'm a fan of Mario, I really like the video games and everything, but uh, I think that this one was looking cute. Uh, I mean, it looks nice and uh, this nice uh, little display flame and everything. But yeah, uh, they released a new one for January, I think, and it doesn't look so good. So this Mario Lego set, minifigures are kind of weird and sadly it could be better than this but yeah this is the only one I have and I think that it looks uh, really uh, really nice. So now we go to the conclusion of this video and yeah uh, what happened this year is that I bought a lot of other sets, I bought some Speed Champions, uh, I bought some Technic set, I had the Bad Movie of Technic, I had the BMW uh, Technic, you can see my video, the videos on my channel, the Speed World or the unboxing of the BMW. But yeah, I had to sell them uh, for personal reasons when I moved uh, to Mexico because there were so much sets and I couldn't take everything with me. I couldn't send everything because I would have spent so much money on it. They would have been insane. Uh, so yeah, sadly, I had to sold some of them. I had also uh, some sets of the Batman, uh, Doctor Strange uh, set also, and yeah, other things uh, that I bought. Um, the A-Wing UCS Starfighter also uh, from Star Wars, of course. Uh, yeah, I had uh, a lot of other sets uh, that I b bought during the year uh, that I had to separate from my collection. Uh, so yeah, for now you just see some Star Wars, you just saw the Vespa, you saw the, the Mario at the end. Uh, but yeah, I, these are the exceptions. Right now, uh, what are my plans for 2023? Uh, I'm waiting a little bit. And maybe in some days, weeks, uh, I will maybe buy a Lego Technic. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to buy a Lego Technic to change a little bit. I'm not, as I said in a preview uh, in a video before, I'm not so interested in the Star Wars sets of January. Uh, so for this, I'm waiting maybe for March to see what they could release. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to the Speed Champions of March, the new Technic sets that are going to come in March too. Uh, and I would like to buy the Bugatti Bolide of Lego Technic that went out uh, some days ago. So this clearly interests me, and if I can buy it soon, I will of course make a video about it. I just hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you bought in 2022, what you own in your collection. I would be interested uh, to know, of course. Uh, don't forget to like, to subscribe to the channel, and wish us for a new video very soon. Bye-bye.